I'm getting ready for the big day, uh, going to um, Hill Country. I uh, got the, I'm just putting things ready together. I'm a couple days out, couple, a few days out before I leave. Um, and I'm getting ready for everything. I'm getting, making sure I've got the right stuff for luggage. So I just ordered for myself the uh, the Indian Solo rack, luggage rack. And that's gonna be going on the back fender over here. Let me get you a little picture of that. Yeah, there goes the uh, luggage rack right here. And I'm about to put it on. And I've got myself a little net that I'm going to be using um, to fasten down my, uh, my bag. Got on the Solo luggage rack. It was easy to put on until it was not. <laughs> so got it on there you know you just I'm sure you guys have seen all these videos already on there um, how to put these on so I'm not gonna go through but you know you've got this this piece here which is holding in our, our brake light so you take them off whatever but that side on the the right side was good this side on the left side this little part right here was off by about uh, I mean just a fraction like a 16th I guess um, and man, I tried everything to get it on there. It took me uh, 30, 45 minutes to get it on there. All right, there go the bags for the this is the sides of each of my um, crash bars. So I uh, I think I got them the wrong size though because I had to. Uh, they don't. They buckle on right here. They buckle on right here, and uh, I had to use a little bit of zip ties because they were they're not um, long enough to go around and buckle on the other side. But it is keeping my, it's keeping my two gas tanks in there. One in there, my, my reserve tanks, one there and one over there. So on each of them are 15 millimeters, 1500 milliliters. Just got finished packing um, and loading up my bike. Um, it's late and gonna be up early. Um, so yeah, minimal packing. Um, have my bag up here just uh, clothes and things like that. And um, actually, you know, it's a lot of camera stuff and a couple other things, maps, things like that. And then the bottom, I have a double bag in here. That's got mostly clothes and that, things like that. Have a nice little uh, net with hooks uh, really firmly on there. And I've got my um, tank bag that I made myself. So it's, it's still kind of a prototype. Um, so you can see, I gotta trim it. Uh, I got that, I hand stitched it, everything like that. Got it ready, it's, uh, I think it's like, um, I think it's 14 inches or 17 inches this way. And then it's four and a half inches tall. Pretty deep, and I wanted to really pack heavy. But I do have some pretty good, some pretty nice looking um, backup uh, to reservoir, uh, a reserve, excuse me. I do have some uh, reserve. It's 1500 milliliter tanks. I got two of them, one on this side and one over there. I'm gonna fill it up first thing in the morning. All right, good morning guys. Um, it's the day of the trip and just gonna pack a couple last minute things to put on the ride and I will catch you guys in Hill Country. It's gonna be a good day. Now in Hamilton, uh, Texas. So after this, I'm hitting Evans, Lampass, Burnett, and then on into Hill Country, a little closer. 
but I gotta find a restroom. I gotta go see what I can find. This is a pretty cool little town, little historic town here in Texas. Though. It's a cool courthouse over there. There's my, there's my baby. All right, see what I can find. Checking with you guys later in a little bit. for eight hours uh finally made it to rock springs uh gonna be staying at the rock springs hotel um it's a historic place it says but anyways gonna go check in and then the ride is tomorrow and then i go back home uh, this is my room so really really small place but really cool it's uh, it's called the rockford historic rockford um, hotel in Rockford, Texas. It's all antique. <laughs> it's very rustic or very old. I wonder how old this is. I'll probably find out for you guys later. Um, yeah, it's a really small town. Uh, here's, a, here's a look. It's a very small town. I can't wait to ride those uh, twisties tomorrow, though. I'm gonna probably get some food tonight and just chill and tomorrow get up early and go ride and go home. So the uh, way to get here, uh, from, I'm coming from uh, like uh, Dallas, the Dallas uh, Fort, Fort Worth area, and um, higher. It was a long ride, but I, I, I avoided all the big interstates. I just wanted to um, take all the scenic routes, so that's why it was uh, like double the time to get out here. I would have gotten out here maybe in four-ish hours, but it took me about about eight hours because I took the long route, which was all the um, the highways and stuff like that. So oh. I really do enjoy it, though. It's like very peaceful and the people are very very nice everybody every everywhere i stopped actually um everywhere i stopped uh, on the way people were really nice very cool man it's a part of texas i don't really get to see often so about to get some food it's like a hotel Pine View actually, and they have like this is pretty. They have a built-in coffee house here. Uh, really cool, classy. It looks like a hunter's lodge. Yeah, this place is really cool. Um, look how huge that thing is right there. Oh, we got a bear over here. This is pretty cool. Look at the size of the claws. They're as long as my fingers almost. And that's a beautiful painting. Really cool place. That freaking line, I can't get over how cool that is. <clears throat> that is awesome. <laughs> now, this place has got character. day I got here I just uh, wanted to rest up because uh, I took eight hours to get here there was no way I was gonna like try to run this uh, bike route uh, after eight hours I'm not gonna do this so I spent a really quiet night reading in, uh, in my room and somebody and walk around town and 
from there, go right. I'll be refreshed and, you know, have energy now. So, yesterday I was beat. <laughs> so, it is, it's a beautiful morning. You know, I mean, this is nice. This is really nice. You got me headed to the left, headed to the right, headed back and forth, but baby, it's all right. You got me going to the east, going to the west, going up and down, cause baby, you know best. Texas, so this is on 337. This is a, like a motorcycle shop. It's called a yeah, oh, bent rim grill. That's right. This is this is really cool. It's all motorcycle stuff. I just ordered a burger, the Indian Chief, so it sounds really good. This place is really cool. A couple people here, but it's beautiful. Let me get you some shots over at the edge. cameras don't do it justice at all but these hills it makes it sound like it makes it sound like you know hill country like you're gonna see hills but these are like big ass hills <laughs> they're pretty big but they kind of get flattened on this on this on this camera but it's very majestic out here very beautiful very texas so man i'm so glad to be here this is this is cool good people here so about to enjoy that indian chief burger Yeah, that burger's really good. You got it here at the, uh, the Bent Rim. Um, if you're ever in uh, Lakey, Texas, come over to the Bent, the Bent Rim Grill on 337 in Lakey. So it's really, really good, guys. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna try and come back as often as possible. From a time and place As far away On a sea